Hey everybody, it's the last Robokai here, and it's time for more Fate Samurai Remnant, and we've got the last of our digressions before everything just goes sliding into the end game for this. There's gonna be like I think one digression after this, and uh, and that'll be it. We'll uh, like uh, that'll that'll happen after we uh, reach the climax of another particular section we're doing, and it all takes a all of like five minutes to get through. So essentially, the digressions are done after this uh, this episode. So joining me is Cool Guy. Chill times are going away, and I'm sad about it. Yeah, from uh, from here on in, uh, it's like after the three digressions that we have, we're going to kick back into the main story, and it's just going to roller coaster its way to the climax from here on in. Uh, the game, uh, after having a very sort of gentle pace to start with, is going to put its foot on the accelerator. <laughs> so, uh, get ready for that. Uh, it will be beginning today, but not really going nutty. So let's get stuck straight in. So we're back at uh, Kaneji, uh, because it's time to actually sort of finish off a digression with someone you probably wouldn't expect that we uh, we need to finish one off with, but we have actually been doing um, more than one digression involving this particular character. I don't remember, but uh, let let's be let's be honest. I have uh, I have a, I have a short I have a short memory span for a lot of the a lot of the cats in but or a lot of the the, uh, side cast in this, in this movie. Game. Movie game. Game movie. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we, we call, we call them cinematic experiences. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't one of, uh, one of Kojima's games. Oh, Jesus. Four, well, okay, you, you just ruined the joke. I was gonna, gonna say four, 404 health not found, and then you hit something and it got you some health. <laughs> Yeah, I got, got some trade-on that restores health every time I hit somebody and... You know, one... Or, or with something, I don't know, it's just like, one health. I, I yeah, every time you... Okay, well now, now, like, Arya's presence is being felt through the weed, <laughs> but, you just, know, whatever. <laughs> just doing it. I'm playing the numbers game. It is it is pretty hysterical that you, man you managed to get knocked down to 404, and then, then through... One stroke per uh, per HP. You got back up to 420. But here he is. You might remember this guy. I don't know. Maybe. Skip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, it's the fast. It's the fast forward button. I went to hit and I hit auto. Like. Like, so I'm <laughs> yeah. It's like, is it this guy? No, who cares? No, just kidding. We're going. Honestly, honestly, that that felt that felt planned with with the way you might remember who this guy is, and I'm just like, huh? And you're just like, skip. <laughs> Don't care. Mataku is a good expression for this one. Yeah, this is the uh, this was the fellow that uh, was we we saw him fairly early on when we were pursuing assassin and also was seen doing stuff alongside Casta. Yeah, he was he was he was a dude who was hanging out with Casta. We never really got too like too much of his deal. We are going to be careful. We are going to be careful. You know, while he was there, I absolutely wanted to kill the shit out of you, but you know, I'm down now. I don't know if you want to kill me. I do Yes, by all, by all technicalities, the, the Sujimikado clan are still required to actually oversee this entire Grail War thing and make sure it doesn't get, you know, completely out of hand. Now, now homie's just like, I'm just trying to preserve the masquerade, man. Yeah, basically, because like we said before, there's this belief amongst, like, mages and the like that if uh, if everyone starts to learn about magecraft and knows what it is, it will lose the mystery involved, which apparently is a big part of what empowers it. 
I've heard some people say uh, they've got it backwards, and actually, if more people knew about it, it would get more powerful. But I, I... it's not really a theory you want to test. <laughs> it's ma like it's magic. We ain't gotta explain shit. <laughs> Needless to say, there's been more than one uh, more than one plan of uh, individuals seeking to destroy the entire concept of magic in the world by uh, by just exposing it <laughs> to everybody and being like, "Look, magic exists." And everyone being like, oh, and then magic doesn't work anymore, I guess. Meh. I mean, that is literally what he just told you. I suppose that's for people who hit, who actually did hit skip. Yeah, although Ayori didn't, never really spoke to him before and was told that. That was probably the first time Ayori was present to him saying, oh yeah, my brother's dead, but, you know, like, I'm still going to be doing my job. Ah. Uh. So... Yeah, it's. Uh... I can't. I can't be bothered to keep uh, to keep track of those sorts of details. So <laughs> I'll just. I'll just presume that you're correct there. Yeah, it's minor. Minor just. You know, it's minor digressionary stuff. We only did two other digressions with this character, but uh, he he's he was actually a bit more scene present than uh, than his brother, the actual master was. I mean, that's just be uh, because the actual master was off do uh, doing horrible villain shit just off screen. Yeah, we only really got small snippets of him before he enacted his plan of him just sitting around going, Aha! My plan! But also asking uh, Shisetsu why she didn't, like, just gank the shit out of Iori the first time. <laughs> and, and Shisetsu was like, my rigid girl structure. Sure, call it that. I mean, I agree with I agree with Sebe here, though. Like, if you have anything tempura, you gotta have veggies along with it. Like, like it works with the palate. Like, it, also it, it tempura the vegetables. Palate. It's really good. But yeah, tempura <laughs> vegetables are also really good. But I was I was more yeah. You all you need to have just some uh, something like I don't know like zucchini or something like that. Something that uh, that can soak up all uh, all of the uh, the breading and fats, so, so you can like re like reset up your 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 tongue for it. Yes, I will continue to do food chat. Food chat is great. Well, no arguments from from there from me. Though I feel like if it, uh, if anybody was truly not okay with food chat, they, like they wouldn't even be watching this game because if I didn't keep up food chat, Saber would do uh, would do it in my stead. Boy, it sure is a great day today. I hope I don't get attacked by a monster. Oh no, I am being attacked by a monster. Who could have foreseen this? Don't declare that you're having a really great day and that you're gonna you're gonna chill out and have fun in like <laughs> in, in, a, in a setting that has mystical creatures, even if you aren't aware of them. You, you stupid boob, you idiot, you clown. Kind of feel, uh, feels like, uh, feels like of uh, like the uh, like the Gwenpool comic rules that, uh, that you just you just noted down. For, but, uh, like uh, the guy who did Doctor McNinja, like right after he he wrapped that up, his first his first comic get, uh, gig was basically doing like a female version of Dead. And it was just a like a, a girl who ended up in in a comic universe, and she realized it was a comic u a universe. And her immediate her immediate thought was, well, I better just get uh, get some get a mask and some tights and run uh, run around kicking people's asses because otherwise otherwise like the way these these things work out, like the instant they, uh, there's some threat, I'm just gonna get murdered be uh, as as like pathos for uh, for the real hero or whatever. And naturally, <laughs> you know, when when some when somebody is that mu a much of a metagaming psychopath, she uh, she ends up being not a good person at all. <laughs> she is not somebody to look uh, to look up to or respect. <laughs> Plus of all the people you could choose as a role model. <laughs> Definitely Wade Wilson is not one of those. The uh, the Deadpool stream I did is now bleeding into the Let's Play. <laughs> like, like, half, like, they, they do do the obvious issue, thank goodness. Like, halfway through uh, through the run, Gwenpool runs into Deadpool, and it, it is a very strange, uh, strange book. Like... They be, like Deadpool realizes she, uh, she's another wall uh, wall breaker like halfway through uh, through the through the comic and they just spend they they just spend the rest of the of the comic fourth walling each other destroying reality tearing yeah. down barriers <laughs> it's Keep very these two apart. odd. 
くれさっきさっき向こうの方でボヤが出てなちょっくら打ち壊してたんだ This is like the, the feudal Japanese version of the men in black. Probably wouldn't be above,、uh, you know, using mental suggestions in order to convince somebody that what they'd seen was incorrect, too. Honestly, well, like, like when, you, when, you've got the,、uh, when you've got the blessing of the local constabulary, do you even need a neuralizer? Yeah, their boss might have been corrupt, but these guys were still actually doing their job. <laughs> Because if they didn't, the Tokugawa would have them all executed. <laughs> yeah. 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 ミヤモトドナ、セイバードナ、ハジオシノンデオネガイタシマス。イマシバラク、コノチノカイトバツニ。We've already had a really long day, and after you get tired and fuck off, we're going to have more of a long day, so just hang out while you're here. オビアカサレティル。コトワルリュアルマイ。次へ行こう。セイバー。派手な技はほどほどに頼むぞ。うん、つまらん。I want to exploit the planet. What are you talking about? いや、夢だって。<laughs> just pranked this man so hard. あんた、まだ言ってるのかい飲んでばっかりいないで、働きな。A、woman just absolutely dunking the shit out of him too. Like, she has, not, she has no business in any of this. She's just、uh, taking the opportunity to dunk on a weirdo. Yeah, look, on the plus side, at least,、uh, he's, he's several centuries too early to start his own podcast that sells, like, supplements. <laughs> that is kind of,、uh, kind of an interesting, interesting note, though. Of, like, it did, like I'll, so I'll ask you this Do they ever play with,、uh, with something like that,、uh, that in Fate, where it's just, like, a, a hyper modern se-、uh, setting and. Mages occasionally have,、uh, have to deal with,、uh, with like, just absolute chuckle fucks like Alex Jones ta-、uh, talking a little too close to the truth. Um, none that I know specifically, though. I imagine there's probably a few people with more、funny. knowledge of the setting that would say, um, the, the clock tower did assassinate, uh, uh, Yelena Blavatsky. Uh, <laughs> Okay. <laughs> who, is,、uh, who is one of the proponents of the,、uh, of the Hollow Earth theory, amongst a、yeah. few other things.、Um, she, in, in fate, she,、uh, she faked her own death, and、uh, basically, like, they were like, worried that she was going to use this as an opportunity to like, bust the entire thing wide open. She was, technically wasn't a mage, but had like, sort of like, knowledge that they didn't want getting out. So they,、uh, so they basically sent assassins to kill her while she was、uh, <laughs> hanging out in the Himalayas with Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> so the only person to witness her like, true death and her final moments was Holmes, who was also at the time having faked his death from the fall、uh, <laughs> that he had、Utterly、with Moriarty.、Brilliant. I love it. So,、uh, yeah. So there, it's. If、they definitely, if, they, if they're worried that you're gonna, you're gonna like spoil the show, yeah, they're absolutely gonna like super kill you. But most of what I know about them is mostly that they, like, a lot of the policing that they do comes, into, comes in the form of, oh, this guy's gone off the rails and is,、uh, is about to do something absolutely fucking insane. Oh,、uh, Fate Zero,、uh, the, one of the protagonists,、uh, is a guy who's basically. He, he's not in pursuit of the, of the route. He's more of a mage killer, an assassin who takes out mages who've gone off the deep end or whatever. Yeah. And、um, basically has to 
use a stinger missile to take down like an entire fucking. Well, I say stinger missile. Basically, like a, a surface-to-air guided missile, uh, for like while standing on like a small like like vessel on the sea to take a plane out of the sky because it had things on it that if it landed was going to like uh, be really really bad. Um, so basically, yeah, they're I'm they're abruptly they're fully reminded prepared. of the Titanic conspiracy <laughs> that we we discussed like like fifteen episodes ago. Don't think the uh, don't think the the mages ever constructed an entire ship for the sole purposes of sinking it to kill three people. But I mean, you yeah, never know. The, pl the the plane, like depending on on what what else was going on there, might be somewhat similar, but also like. No matter how big the plane is, even if it's a C-130, it's still nowhere near as big as the fucking Titanic. Probably the biggest, most difficult thing that the mages have ever had to sort of cover up that I'm aware of, um, they would be the the disaster that happens in uh, in the sort of the prologue of uh, well, it's sort of it's it's sort of in the in not quite the prologue, it's sort of in the before happenings of Fate Stay Night, and also like that happens at the end of Fate Zero, and um, and the other would probably be the Salem incident in Fate Grand Order, when like the entire town of Salem was like uh, <laughs> uh, enclosed in a giant horrible like field that uh, that plunged all the citizenry into being forced to reenact the Salem witch trials over and over again. Uh, you know, in modern times, <laughs> like they were just like it, that was that was an entire thing. That was uh, that was where Kirke uh, made her appearance and uh, and demonstrated that she ain't nothing to fuck with. ありがたく存じまする。分かっ Too much power is never enough. <laughs> enough is never enough. Enough is never enough. あらゆる力は我らの下になくてはな。無論、ギガなった赤月には英月を献上させていただきます。それでこそ… <笑> and you… then you trust me why exactly? Well, that's kind of the funny thing, because it's like, as far as I'm aware, I don't think Yasuhiro ever had any intention of betraying them. His entire desire was simply to get his family back to being the head Omnyoji clan for the Tokugawa after his own father beefed the whole thing. I feel like uh, like he was uh, like he was saying uh, he was saying something different when we were about to murder his ass, but I might be remembering wrong. Yeah, it's entirely possible it went to his head, but it really just felt like he was. Uh, he was just sort of hiding his own farts at that point. Yeah. お前には真面目な才がない。いかに謙遜を積もうとも体制はできぬ。心得ております。はあ。心得ております。ではないわ。いい加減時代の当主としての自覚を持て。ですが、兄上のおっしゃる通り、私には才がない。A leader doesn't do, a leader leads. It's in the name. まじないの才だけが才と思うな。父上は実に優れた術者であったが、清掃に破れ地位を失った。そういうことだ。私が道を敷く。誇りある土味方の家を。最高するための道を。お前はその上を歩めばよい。堂々と何に恥じることもなく。Well, all right then. Shows what I know. Yeah.我々兄は、お家の最高を願っていました。Almost makes it sound like he thought he wasn't gonna survive the process. 
in some way. I don't know, maybe he expected the Tobago uh, we're going to betray him at some point. It doesn't never, never really go into that, but it just yeah, kind of makes it sound like, like he expected he was going to lose it. a number of things it. he could have potentially meant, uh, meant when he when he was talk uh, when he talked when he talked about that, but uh, especially considering how how things how things turned out, you know, it seems silly to uh, to imagine that he didn't factor his own death in there at some point. Mm. <laughs> I don't have a master and I don't have much magical talent, and also I can't use a sword, so please don't stab me. I'm going home now. I'll see it done in my own way, which, you know, I actually have a shot of accomplishing. Yeah, he's just got to hold the clan together and cl clean up the mess that's probably going to result after the end of this thing, because uh, the, the Tokugawa have lost the, their man in the race, uh, and the only ones left are uh, a high-class courtesan, uh, someone who they think is on their side, but is actually a rebel, uh, a bum with two swords, <laughs> and uh, and the, 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 the edgiest man in the entire thing. <laughs> Just the angriest motherfucker alive. Yeah, and Chiamon is not who they want winning is. I'll tell yeah, you that Chiamon much. Yeah, Chiamon is of like their last choice. You can even just look at a picture of him and just be like, "Yeah, I don't want this guy. He's not really photogenic." <laughs> you just do do a mugshot lineup of all of this crap. You're just like, all right, you know, like, like the 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 more the moron in the Hakama, like, like we could probably live with. He looks simple enough, but good God, that cat in the bandages! What the fuck is his problem? Mm. So we're done with the uh, we're done with that stuff. Now, now we get to uh, to head off to deal with the, uh, the last digression for Musashi and the last digression for Samson. Samson, Samson I, I was, is gone I was from the wall. I was for a moment there by the uh, by the Edo, Edo sightseeing. Oh, thing. I love that I, thing. Like, I feel like that's happened once or like yes. a couple times bef uh, before, where it keeps scrolling up and it it knocks me off balance every single time because it's the yeah, only the ticker that does so that. It, because like everything else, it's like ah, you've you've done the thing. Oh hey. <sighs> I won't really end up showing you, like, the final dialogue you get from seeing all these guys, because I do a lot of walking around doing stuff off-screen. But really, all he ends up saying is, I'm gonna leave and train to be even better. And he leaves, and you get the, uh, the little, the little thing for having met all of them. Okay. <laughs> it's, sort of, it's sort of the same thing with the, uh, the, Gorma the Gormans. They just kind of like... Hey, I've told you everything you need to know. Grats. And that's it. You don't really get, like, a cutscene <laughs> or anything. They're, they're just like, alright, I'm fucking off, and I'm gonna go to Kyoto or someplace to eat more delicious food. Well, they, they stay where they are. Like, near every food stall you ever see them at. They get around really quickly. They're just, like, zooming from food to food. That, that weird teleportation power the, uh, that every... every RPG NPC seems to have. Like, even when you have actual, literal... <laughs> teleportation pow uh, powers, like in Final Fantasy XIV, everybody is fucking there before you. Yeah. Sometimes they admit that the people actually have the same things that you have access to. Yeah, and like that's the only, the only time when you're just like, God, thank you. I I, I no longer feel I feel quite so inadequate. Hey, hey, what about what about what it's like, hey, I'll meet you over there, and then like your quest marker like points to the middle of the field, you're like, they're getting attacked, aren't they? <laughs> 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 yeah, they're getting they're getting, and you go over there and yep, there's a there's a purple circle. They're down on their knees. And they're and, and it's just like oh, yeah. yeah the, then you you gotta you gotta beat up some uh, some mooks and they're just like wow, hey, thanks for thanks for uh, for helping me out uh, me out there. And then they walk ahead again, just like I'll, I'll get there for sure the, uh, this next time. There is exactly one time when when the uh, the NPC is like, you know what, maybe I should just let you go ahead and clear things out, and it ends up being more annoying because you have to go forward, clear things out, and then go back to them. <laughs> <laughs> like, all right, I, fine, I I forfeit my my uh, my right to complain. 
<laughs> so there's the interesting thing. He talks about with the koala bonds, which I've been picking up throughout the game, and they were like, I wonder who writes them? Well, we finally found out that they're written by the Sushi Mikado as part of the cover-up. <laughs> <laughs> That is some commitment to the bit. Yeah. Like, like as, as annoying as Suchi Mikado is, like, uh, like, like that, that I will respect. Like, if you're, you're gonna, you're gonna do this ridiculous nonsense, commit to the bit. <laughs> that typhoon made of snakes, by the by. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That was assassin. Really weird how it didn't seem to uh, seem to affect anything around it, but you know, whatever. It, it picked up that one woman and tried to eat her, and then put her down again. <laughs> that that lady was probably in so much shock from the entire incident, she probably doesn't remember it straight. So they're they're probably doesn't all right want on that one. to. Like that, yeah. now now we're we're go we're going all the way back to to like, uh, like that that entire. I, I, I forget the gen uh, the gentleman's name. Oh, we were talking about him dur uh, during the Neo le uh, Let's Play, where he was doing he was doing a rear guard uh, uh, operation. He was so terrifying to fight that uh, that um, everybody ha uh, everybody had nightmares about about it for so long afterward that uh, that nobody could genuinely confirm that he died. You remember that cat's name? I'm forgetting. Uh not uh not straight off of my head on Yeah, well, we'll like, like I know we'll, exactly we'll who you're talking the about. comments or the description or some, uh, something like of like that. But like of like like that's sort of like just to to reiterate what I said all those years ago. Um don't get it twisted. That sort of th that sort of thing is real. Like of like, like there the the book I quoted at the time was uh, Dr. Matthew Walker's Why We Sleep, and uh, he discusses how uh, how sleep affects your memory by, uh, by stripping the emotional context from the things that happened and committing all of that stuff to long-term memory. And if you're unable to do that, there's a memory encoding error, then, uh, then Basically, that's where recurring nightmares come from. Until your until your mind just basically defaults to some less traumatic way of handling it, and that's how uh, how you how you get you get by it. Hopefully, some things are so traumatic that takes years or even decades to handle. <laughs> wow, what a stud! All right, so this is this is how Masashi bet Samson. <laughs> <laughs> Good reaction. エレヨネ。この感じ。まさかかしら。私もまさかだし、縁があるみたい。もしや、いわゆるハグレサーバントってやつ。そんなものが召喚されるなんてこの儀式。私もスタシス one of the only ser uh, servants here who has, like, previous experience being a servant. And she also, when she was alive in the Shimosa, uh story, uh, she also encountered many rogue servants as well. <laughs> some tried to kill her, some not. <laughs> I need you to calm down. He's not really that angry right now, though. Like, that wasn't- that was- not even that angry. Yeah, he's not, but also asking Samson to calm down is a uh a, that that is that is a tall order. Well, to be fair, Masashi always provokes a fight. <laughs> so it's like you know, like even not even as a saber, as I've said before, she has this thing uh that she did in life. Uh in like Fake Grand Order, where she likes to rattle her uh a scabbard, so to speak, and, uh, and, you know, just sort of antagonize people into fights. Was something that, uh, that, uh, that our world's Musashi did, uh, did as well. He, uh, he explicitly antagonized pe uh, people, people into fights because, uh, because he knew by pissing the, uh, them off, they would leave themselves open in, in weird, uh, in weird ways that he could exploit. Like, that is absolutely on brand. <laughs> the big boot! I loved that. It's always good to have at least one person who just has, like, a laundry list of wrestling moves to play with. <laughs> <laughs> 
Speaking of... Modified power bomb. One of his attacks is like, picks up and throws, throws things. If the enemy is like, class that he can't actually grab them and throw them, and he, do he fails to grab, he then immediately sinks into like, a gigantic like, splash. Belly flop. <laughs> so good. Alright, barrier one down. There's absolutely no uh, no way Samson go uh, goes down with only one uh, only one break. Yeah. Yeah, that's just that's just that's uh, just who he is. I felt like it was a very interesting choice to have us do the do Masashi versus Berserker one last time because out of all the characters that have fought him, like Masashi's up there in terms of the number of fights she's had with him. She fought him at the port, she fought him uh, at the gates of the uh, of the temple, and obviously she's fighting him again now, so that's three, and I think... I think even Iori only three? gets two. Well, there's the first, the first time Saber fought. Yeah, Yuri gets two, Saber gets three, technically. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say. Because like, Saber I, fought the Saber... first time they met. Yeah, okay. And then they fought when doing the, the first aggression, trying to go in the area. And then, right, then right. they fought again when they were trying to deliver the message, hey, like, Yoshiwara is being infiltrated by pirates. And, uh, yeah, I don't think we actually fight him at all after that. I <laughs> mean... <laughs> By, by that by that time he like, like he generally understands that we're not dicks so uh, so he's he's negatively inclined to uh, to fight us until you know he's literally mind controlled to do so. See, he's just like the like, lady go away. <laughs> he just doesn't, he just doesn't seem into this at all. He's <laughs> too well. He's like really I just want you to leave me alone. Understatement. <laughs> <laughs> this is where she basically offended. pets him like a cat, and uh, and, and and he he's like, oh okay. Like he, he sounded almost offended by the suggestion that he would like endanger uh, Dayu as well. Yeah, which I thought was actually kind of funny. Again, very on brand. Tomatta. Yes, <laughs> 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 one. この一瞬で警戒心や敵意まで消え失せた。だよ。念のため聞いておくけど、あなたも知り合いじゃないわよね。No, but he knows you in a manner of speaking. こんな立派な女の子、会ってたら忘れようがないさね。でも、なんだろうね。there's a reason why he called her Delilah as he laid dying. へえ、そうなの。さすがはヨシワラ一の太夫ってことなのかしら。この御神も you literally could not make like make him do anything. You couldn't in life, and you're not in death. どこの店の子たちも安心できるだろうしね。うん。驚いた。おとなしくなっちゃって。ここは見事と言っておくべきね。This <laughs> makes a lot of sense. Like, like Dayu just sort of bumble fucked into uh, to to 
go uh, going directly with uh, with Samson's li of like like hero origin, not you know like spirit origin, but hero origin. Oh yeah, And uh, this is it, the the last of the Samson digressions. ま、さか。じゃあ、何さ。まさか。私がふさぎ込んでると思って She's out of your league, bro. I'm just gonna say it right now. こうなることを望んでたんだ。だから満足して帰っていった。あの子と出会い過ごしたわずかな時に私はちっとも悔いなんかないんだよ。The emphasis on short。望んでいたと。ああ、今となっちゃそう思うよ。yeah, the whole getting mind control to hurt people thing probably wasn't up his alley. Oh no, like he hate he would have hated that from the biblical story. Like like the idea of him be him being mind controlled to hurt people and not protect the pe uh, the people he cared about. That would that would have been absolute anathema to Samson. But yes, this is where the story comes full circle. That wakazashi that he dropped the very first time we fought him was the one that she used to cut his hair. そう。私が送った脇差しだ。使いもしないのに御所を大事に身につけてた。それをある日、いきなり突っ返してきて。土見角の魔術で Hagretachigaichidoyatsrachimataatonokotakara。Kitoanotokikaranoko。Kakugo he knew what was going to happen, and that was the best the best way out, out for him to remain true to his hero origin. <laughs> I mean, job well done. Satisfaction there. Like, it sucks, but also respect, Dayu. Yeah, she walked into uh, she walked into very direct danger and pulled that off. Yep. Homegirl's got nerves and a stomach of steel. So the general, the general sort of blurbs in the loading screens regarding uh, his power involving his hair suggested that it's quite possible that it wouldn't have been possible uh, for anybody else to do it except her. Because he was, her, uh, because she was her, yeah, she was his Delilah this time around. Essentially, yeah. Sometimes the uh, the properties of a servant will stick around afterwards, and um, actually can be used as a catalyst in further something of the characters. Uh, one one such character uh, still carries around the piece of uh, piece of one particular servant that uh, that he you know that he summoned during a war as well, and it sort of. It gets stolen and used to summon sort of another variation. And yeah, we get Lion Slayer! <laughs> oh, shit! Just, uh, do you like exploding everything? There you oh, go. Oh, man, yeah, like a one-sword a one, a one sword explosion. Yeah. All right, that's, uh, that's, de that's definitely channeling him. Mm -hmm. Good on ya. Good on ya there, buddy. Ah, so that's, uh, that's everything. Uh... 
we've got the the DLC uh, that at the time the other two DLCs hadn't come out yet, but we're not doing those yet. We're finishing the game first, and that means we need to head down to take on Shosetsu. I appreciate, by the way, and I don't think I've mentioned it before, that the lo lo the loading marker in this uh, in, in this game is literally a waxing mode. Yes. It's a, it's a wonderful touch. Right, <laughs> like, it's the little things that uh, that, that count. It's the little things that I notice. Yeah, it's time to get silly. We have, uh, we have a few places on the map we can take advantage of for rogue servants. And we've got, uh, we've got to get killing. Alright then. Uh, that's like an immediate spot. Yeah, that pretty much becomes like the thing I always do at the start yeah, of these now, just because like they're so large. When, when, you when you have two, when you have two major approaches like this, both of your units are equally capable. Like, there's no reason not to. Yeah. So I'm having a big think of how I want to how I want to play this. And I'm, I'm like, okay. Well, I think I think first thing Probably I need to do is probably want to head towards Aria first. Yeah. The very, she makes the very me want to kill myself, important. but you know she's ridiculously yeah, useful. Going in a situation she like she this. turns 15 turns uh, into 30 turns. Yeah. Like... <laughs> Saber will not get excited if not in the same place as Iori. Yeah, because because uh, Saber stepped onto the uh, the little little oh, Saber the marker. Oh, Saber doing things. Okay, like that's a really awkward way of saying it, but okay. Yeah, it's it's kind of funny. It it does make me it does make me laugh a little that that's just like how they want to how they want to frame it. I mean, it. If, if that if that's how how you want to articulate it, I'm sh like fine, I guess. Dragon. Yep. All right, brother, come at it. Come at me, bro. You don't want to Yeah, this guy would just go streaking all across the countryside, and instead he gets streaking straight onto the to the sword. Time to die, motherfucker. <laughs> Have a taste of, of my sword as I lie in the dirt. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm honestly surprised that hit you. Like, like I was I I was a little taken aback. I was just like, he's totally going to parry this. Like, you're flying <laughs> backwards on your ass. Just wait. He's absolutely gonna parry this. Anyway, the blender. Do you friggin' mind? What the god? Yep, we need to get down there, and we need to claim our uh, our weed fox girl. Yep. And then we need to go get our crazy witch. Took katatsuke yo. Skills a warrior and. Yeah, Especially we still got uh, we still got some new monsters we haven't seen yet to, to turn up, and uh, next episode we will actually get to see one more type of new type of enemy. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually kind of crazy just how many enemy variations are in this game, like of, especially of monsters. There's so many. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be super real. Uh, like like for a moment there, I was terrified that my that my uh, video had frozen somehow. Because <laughs> nothing was happening. Because <laughs> nothing was happening, and I was, I was just like, wait, what? I have actually had a problem in New Game Plus where uh, where heading to Akachimachi just crashes the game. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, I'm hoping it's a uh, it's just in the current chapter I'm in, and then once I move into like a new chapter, it'll uh, it'll let me go in there because I think there might be like a fight encounter I have to do there. Because because uh, I don't have to go there because. The the game has uh, like new game plus you can skip past to a certain point uh, where like it starts actually implementing like stuff that's new that was like that wasn't displayed in like the regular game it's like new game plus content. 
but it's just like it loads it loads about halfway and then it just closes again. So I don't know if that's like a problem that's always been there that's or because horrifying. of the new because of the last DLC that came out, but because I don't have a reason to go there ever for the rest of the game, it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Fucking saber. It, it may prevent me from 100%ing uh, some of the bonus fights in your game plus unlocks for you. <laughs> we'll see. Well, I mean, if that if if that happens, that's not the end of the world. That would be tragic, yeah. but it's not the end of the world. I mean, it would be funny. <laughs> it would be pretty hilarious. I, you no could do worse than having that. a location you don't need to go to for like to beat the game, <laughs> like inaccessible because the game doesn't want you to go there anymore. <laughs> yeah, keep trying. I keep trying to block that. That'll work. Wow, it actually did work. I'm okay. Like, isn't isn't my face red? That's alright because I, I I kept going because I was hitting that guy. <laughs> He was a <laughs> Like wow. this guy over here was he just like walking into all of the purple. <laughs> he throws a couple of knives at you and just perfectly misses you like oh, like it's Elmer Fudd. Elmer Fudd as a as a servant. That's that that's that's the that's the fate game I wanna play. Fucking somebody gets Archer Elmer Fudd <laughs> How to lose instantly. <laughs> 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 oh man. That's literally me. We trained we trained this guy wrong as a joke. <laughs> he's, he's a rogue archer in an area. And you have to help him by just having him helping him prosecute weapon season. It's only like it's only like the only person he can actually conceivably beat is like Assassin Wimplow. Oh man. <laughs> that was way funnier than uh, than I thought it was going to be when I first when I first said it out loud. There's been a lot. Of, I think there's a lot of fan art out there that sort of mixes Looney Tunes to uh, Looney Tunes to Fate because they are both very silly franchises. <laughs> In the sense that there's it, just like stupid bullcrap ha uh, happening and it's like just roll with it. Yeah. I can definitely see the see how there, there's a lot of there's a lot of vibes between uh, between Fate and Looney Tunes. And now we can go at 100 miles an hour. We can start scooping up everybody else. I'll scatter you. That's a word for it, I suppose. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> Scattered like that. Last 80 dudes didn't uh, didn't have it. I didn't have any luck at it, but I'm sure you eight will definitely be the ones to make the difference. Come at us! If if you send a hundred maggots at me, they will still just be maggots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool! I don't know why, but that line just sticks with me ever since I, heard, I first read it like over a decade ago. <laughs> yeah. It's a. Uh... It's his name, Luca Blight, from us. Uh, so we could end two. Yeah, so I think. The, the, like the 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 pri uh, the primary driver of Suikoden two, when he when he finally leaves the stage, like it's almost not worth playing the game anymore because uh, because Luca Blight was so was like the heart and soul of that entire fucking game. He has one of the most amazing introductions to establish a villain I've ever seen, where he's like like an entire town's like just being attacked and burned down. And this woman's begging for her life, and he tells her to crawl around on her on her on her like arms and legs like a fucking pig, and to oink, and she does, and he just goes die pig and kills her. <laughs> and it was just like it's just like fuck, <laughs> and he doesn't he doesn't cool down at all. From no, that point no, out. he like he starts out at hundred miles an hour and only accelerates from there. Like he is like he is one of the most perfectly loathsome villains ever but like you you he's just feels so good to oppose but uh, like for for people who haven't pl uh, played um Suikoden in two hopefully a, a slightly more uh, more ubiquitous culture reference was like trying to fight kefka did you ever have any doubts about fighting kefka or how how good it felt to tear down <laughs> kefka Luca Blight is like that, only he's actually comprehensible and he's constrained evil, so he's that much more dangerous. Yeah. And I, I, I say that remembering, by the way, that 
Kefka is one of the very few villains that actually succeeded in destroying the world. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's a very, very powerful play on his part as well. It was, but like, but like, you know, I'm just, I'm just say a saying, you know, the only reason Luca Blight was not more disastrous than Kefka is because the heroes of Sweet and Two got to him earlier. That's all there is to it. And even that takes literally everything you have and then everything to like you've stop him. got and more. Like when he when he says the line. You could send all those maggots at me, and they will still be just be maggots. He isn't kidding. Like you are, you, you are fighting someone who's operating at an incredibly high speed. And no drag whatsoever. Yeah, this isn't so bad. This is easy to resolve. They might be sending a million people at me, but I've got people in positions where I can send them to intercept. I just need to make sure they're going to do it. Kirke is. But I'm gonna make sure she does. And Saber, definitely gonna do it. Saber's there we got go. that. You just, like need, you just need to handle here. the handle the cat coming into uh, Koishi. Koishi Kawa. Tactics. Tic tacs. Tactical. Statistics. And it means we get to uh, we get to have a fight with Kirke. I do not recall if I uh, if I activate her noble phantasm, which we've unlocked. Hopefully I do, I do not remember. <laughs> Honestly, like, uh, like, just watching her in action is a joy enough, so I, like, I'm okay with it even if you don't. Well, if I don't, there's always New Game Plus, because I, uh, I have made sure to use some of the characters that are, are unavailable now, I've made sure to use them in some of the stuff we do in New Game Plus, so that you can see the Noble Phantasms. Ah, oh, crud. I was sitting here uh, here thinking, alright, are we done? Have, have they, uh, like, have the warriors been faced? Well, they have now. <laughs> Jesus, alright, well then. Hey, look, Rogach is handy. No Noble Phantasm till, like, late in New Game Plus, but... Still getting along. Still getting. Well, you've broken and okay. Good luck with that. Yeah, we'll, we'll be we'll be learning two uh, two true names next episode. Oh, -ho! I presume one's Saber. What's the other one? Yep. Oh uh, no, actually no. Saber is uh <laughs> Saber is the episode after that one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so well, two episodes from now we will have Saber. So get your guess ready. But no, uh, next uh. The next true name, the next true name, I won't spoil the, uh, who the other one is, but the next true name we're going to be learning is Rogue Assassins. Aha! Good, I'm pretty sure so I know I'll be who getting he you, is. I'll be getting you on the guessing for that at the, uh, at the beginning of the episode. Great, great, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I know, uh, I know who Rogue Assassin is. The other, the other cat obviously will, uh, will find out. There's not, there's not too many left, you've probably already figured out who the other one is, but I don't want to get too I mean, many spoilers of where yeah, the story's well, going. Yeah, uh, well, like, on... <laughs> It's worth noting that uh, that I I usually have uh, have, have a drink anytime we're, anytime we're 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 commentating and when we do main story quest I do green tea when we're doing digressions I do beer so you know like you you said you're saying hey you you can probably do process of elimination brother I'm on a downer right now I hate that sharp <laughs> like maybe if maybe if this was a with was a main story quest line episode and I was on I was on a small amount of caffeine I'd be a little bit quicker but like I well right I now. turn to the audience uh, and, and I give them a face as as says on the bottom and get a load of this guy cam and I say <laughs> You at home have probably figured out who the other character is that's going to get their probably. True name revealed. Probably. <laughs> you know, I will say one of the one of the th of the things that I like I love about how uh, how they how they handled Kirke in the in this in this in this game is how much fucking fun she is having full time. Like she gets on on that pig and she has the, she has the broadest grin of any mf'er. <laughs> <laughs> you blocked it before? Well, I'm going to keep doing it, because it's funny. <laughs> she just clears waves of, of enemies so efficiently. All while in those heels as well. Those, like, freaking 
six inch heels how even does she walk in them but you know whatever clearly she's got lots of practice yeah and i imagine the wings probably help keep her upright as well because she can use those at low flight can't hurt she's so happy she, she likes to get around and be useful stop new way just stop <laughs> <laughs> Just don't. Is it time? There's a time and a place, and this is neither one. Getting close to it. Do you mind, man? Hey, he's a big freaky boy. Big. <laughs> <laughs> it's time. <laughs> They did say it was the Banquet of Madness. <laughs> Fucking beautiful. No notes. 10 out of 10. Please do more. On a related note, shocking that new way to death. Fuck you. <laughs> Taste his balls and he died. <laughs> All right, let's go even faster. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, I want to, I want to capture everything on the map and stop. I was gonna say, like, like it feels, it feels like you're, you're far, you're pretty far away from get, from getting the entire map. So, like, what, what are we gonna do here? Yeah, boy. Yoinked everything. So yeah. Get stuffed, idiots. Yeah, we still gotta do the, uh, do the, uh, the Saber Gets Excited event. Yeah, and you can see I've got so many moves before I gotta go over there, so it's like... 12 whatever. out of 35. Yeah, and we move two times each turn as well, so... Like, Aria just makes everything so much easier. あそこに並べてあるのは服か。洗い物を干しているようには見えぬが、なんだろう。あの小屋がけか。確か古着を売っているとかいう話だ。ああ、they're <laughs> That's kind of adorable. Get him, Kirke. <laughs> just don't move. They'll be there, you just fuck them up. One more for Kirke. Well, this is the music that plays as well. It's just like, she's having a pretty chill time just nuking everybody with magic. Now, like, like the way you phrase that want, makes me want to want to go back and, and like, of, like, edit her into the cool guy has a chill day meme <laughs> video from a million years ago. Kirke has a chill day. <laughs> Well, needless to say, during at least one summer event where she sort of appeared in the background um, hilariously in order to help teach one character how to not get turned into a pig by another character who had pig transforming powers, <laughs> um, she basically just runs a kicky on stand. <laughs> She's yet to receive a summer variation, but look, if she I promised that I wouldn't turn into a pig, I'd eat her kiki on. I like like that. That's that, that's all I would require. Like, just let me just 
eat your cooking without tur- without making like a uh, body changing <laughs> commitment. All right, well it's counter time. But that will be for next time. Oh ho! Because that's where it really gets going. Uh, we are going to be kicking off our showdown with uh, Yui Shosetsu, and that means Rogue Assassin. That means we're going to need to try and get through Shosetsu and Rider, and well, there's a whole lot of surprises in store for where that's going to go. You are not going to be able to tell where this fight's going to lead to, let me tell you something. <laughs> so, I have been the last Robo Kai. And I have been Cool Guy. And we'll see you next time for Fate Samurai Remnant.